We've made quite a few changes recently with uh, bringing on the TOGAF standard 10th edition and uh, starting our TOGAF certification program for it. Um, what we've basically done is to actually expand the program so it now is what we call the TOGAF certification portfolio. The TOGAF standard 10th edition comprises a set of documents so rather than just being a single document as we had for TOGAF 9, for the TOGAF 9 standard, we now have a series of 26 documents as it was last April. Uh, and now that's been increased to 28 documents. Uh, part of the design of this TOGAF Standard 10th edition is that it's going to be extensible, so we will add and evolve it over time. Because that's a very broad set of documents, we've actually had to look at certification in a different way. And the way we've approached that is actually to look at um, particular skill sets and competencies for users. And so rather than saying, let's have a single certification that covers the whole of the 28 documents as it is now, we've actually split it into specific skill sets. And these include what we call the business architecture for business architects, enterprise architects, uh, digital specialists, agile specialists, and also what we call the TOGAF EA leader. The other thing we've still got and support in the portfolio is the TOGAF 9 certification program. That's widely supported in the industry. There are a lot of job placements that call for it, government users and so on. We'll continue to support that indefinitely. We've introduced three new certifications to support the TOGAF Standard 10th edition. There's what we call the Enterprise Architecture Foundation. And once you've taken that, you can then move up a level uh, to what we call the Enterprise Architecture Practitioner. And the other path we've got is uh, focused on business architecture. And that's what we call at the moment, Business Architecture Foundation. So one thing we've seen is that you know, not everybody is, is busy these days and so not everybody has the time to sort of you know, go and sit in a class for a couple of days. And so what we've actually introduced is what we call something called certification credentials. And these are basically smaller chunks of learning that you can take in your own time. Well, we're seeing a lot of international uptake for the open group certifications. Obviously, we monitor you know, where the certifications and exams are being taken around the world. And we've seen a very large uptick in India over the past you know, two or three years now. We've also been working with our team, with the open group staff out in India, and briefing on the TOGAF Standard 10th edition and its new certification portfolio. So we're looking forward to uh, seeing further growth in that market.